time for yourself today. I know how hard it is to make any time for the necessities of life. So sometimes self-care and me time feels really indulgent. So we try to keep it a little tight. We're gonna get through our reading in a moment. After our reading, our intention setting, followed by our journal entry. We'll get to the math and then we'll follow up with an affirmation. So today, let's get right into the reading that I have from Henry Nguyen. He's a wonderful author that I love. This book, this book in particular, is The Inner Voice of Love. He talks about the nature of giving versus receiving. In particular, this whole notion of giving without worrying about if you're going to receive anything back, especially from the person you've given to. So let's get into it. Allow yourself to be fully received, page 65. It's a little longer than normal, but bear with me. I'll get you through all this in a few minutes, I promise. Giving yourself to others without expecting anything in return is only possible when you have been fully received. And we'll talk about what being fully received is in just one second. Every time you discover that you expect something in return, for what you have given or are disappointed when nothing comes back to you, you are being made aware that you yourself are not fully received. Only when you know yourself as unconditionally loved by God can you give gratuitously. And that is what it means to be fully received. Giving without wanting anything in return is trusting that all your needs will be provided for by the one who loves you unconditionally. It is trusting that you do not need to protect your own security. You know all that, well, I don't wanna give because what if they don't give back and they go think I'm so, no, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about that because you're able to give knowing that you are provided for by the ultimate source. Faith is trusting that you who give gratuitously will receive gratuitously. Maybe not from the same person, but you will receive. The danger is in pouring yourself out to others in the hope that they will give back to you, right? You will soon feel as if others are walking away with parts of you when you do it that way. And I know for myself, there was a time when I would give hoping to receive back. And it was only when a therapist asked me years ago, he was like, you're giving me a Christmas gift. Why are you giving? And I said, well, because I want you to know, I want you to really think about why are you giving this to me? And I've never stopped to think about why I was giving and if there was an expectation of something in return. So now when I give, I really try to give and just trust that's what I'm supposed to be doing at that time because the universe is always taking care of me. God is always provided for me in ways I can't even imagine. Finishing up, a lot of giving and receiving has a violent quality because the givers and receivers act more out of need than out of trust. Think about when you are giving to someone that you love. Are you giving because you really are giving from a love place or from a fear place, right? You really want them to have it or are you fearful they're gonna take the love away if you don't give it to them? Think about it from that perspective. What looks like generosity is actually manipulation. And what looks like love is really a cry for affection or support. When you know yourself as fully loved, you will be able to give according to the other's capacity to receive. And you will be able to receive according to the other's capacity to give. You will be a free person once you learn that you can give gratuitously without any concern about what you're gonna receive in return. And so our invitation today is to think about, is your giving more out of the need to receive back? Or are you giving just because you want that person to have? And you're not worried about what you're gonna receive in return. And I want you to find your journals at this point, write a utensil and your journal. And I want you just to write down the last time you gave someone something. Write the date whatever your date is today, write the date down, and then I want you to write down 
what's the last time you gave someone something? And it doesn't have to be something material. It could be giving someone a call, giving someone a hug, giving someone time, right? Time is a, like you're giving me time right now. Giving someone time, thinking through that. When's the last time you gave someone something? Mm. Mm. And then I want you to write why you gave that gift. And you can, of course, continue this, write a couple of these, repeat these later, but I want to just get us started. We always talk about journaling, we don't make the time to do it. So now it's time for us to do a little journal prompt. A little journaling. Couple of more seconds I'll give you. All right, wrap it up for now and I'll see you at the mat. Thank you, thank you for joining today's class. I hope that it was a blessing for you as it was for me. I wanna leave us with our class affirmation, which is simply, I choose to give expecting nothing in return. Again, I choose to give expecting nothing in return. Now, of course, caveat, if you are actually lending something, establish your terms, but if you're giving something, you're choosing to give love, time, money, a gift, whatever, trust that you are giving it and you're not worried about receiving it because we are protected knowing that all of our needs are provided by God and that source is a much greater and powerful source than any person you could ever give to on earth. So trust that, believe that, continue in your journal as you like, and I will see you soon. Namaste. Thank you so much. Yes, so